Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Capital Markets Investor Relations in two minutes or less. Today we're going to do another short attack case study, this time on Cerner, ticker CERN, which has since been taken out by Oracle. And it starts with this premise that my face is still on dark boards in executive offices in Kansas City, the corporate headquarters of Cerner. And this short was circa 2015, 2016, and was both structural and narrative in nature. So these were the three key issues. The first was the long-term guidance they gave was too bullish. And this was the structural part of the short. If you played with the growth assumptions of the market, you could tell there's going to be a multi-million dollar, billion dollar variance between actuals and their guidance. Second, the company was going to be shifting from a 60 straight quarters of beaten raising to miss and lowering because their guidance was not very solid. And that led to the third problem of arrogance where management felt no one could question what they were doing because of their track record and that they could do no wrong. So what triggered the short? What well, was the award of the DOD EHR contract in the second quarter of 2015, where I thought the stock had topped at 7350 given this news was behind us. And sure enough, in the third quarter of 15, the company missed the quarter. I got a nasty gram from the IR guy 30 minutes before the print and the actual miss. And ultimately the stock went from 7350 to 50 bucks. Home run call. And then the stock traded back to 7150 and went back to 50 bucks again. So this was a great trade for people in 2016. So let's look at the key learnings for public company executives. And it starts with this idea of long-term guidance. Have you vetted your long-term guidance and have people actually questioned you on your long-term guidance? In this situation, I was the first person to question Cerner on their long-term guidance and they were not prepared for my questioning of their guidance. Secondly, if you're a sell side analyst and wanna do a sell call, it needs to be timed perfectly. If you give any opening to the company, you're gonna end up with a who loves you baby and out on the street because you've given the company time to complain and build a track record against you. And then third, millionaires and billionaires only attack and destroy you if you're right. When you put a sell call on something that's loved by everyone and has a lot of value, you're gonna get discredited and attacked from everyone. And it's gonna be hard to live through and it's gonna be harder to recover from once you exit that situation. Thanks for watching. Always here to help with your capital markets, investor relations, and corporate finance needs.